Notion finally made charts and I'm gonna show you how they actually are good and reasons why you should try them out. So first of all, let me just make a little explanation here. I love Notion, baby. And I know that they're dropping a lot of new features that I'm not gonna tell you about. I have some inside knowledge, but this one is one I've known for a while and somehow I'm still late to the party of making a video because all I do is make videos. However, I'm gonna show you how it is a very cool feature. All right, so first and foremost, what we have here is a set of graphs that I made um, actually regarding my running log. So I have a Strava account, as I'm sure many of you have heard of Strava. It's where you can like you know, sync your watch to track activities of work that you've done in the out form. And because it's automatically syncing, I can actually track my weekly mileage. So it's a pretty simple uh, route to go. I'm, I'm gonna show you how it works. Essentially, all you have to do is you'll see it right here on like any of these views under layout. There's a chart view now, right? So it was obviously gonna be another layout of presentation of data. So let's just add a new tab here to show you how it works. Press chart, and then you're gonna link the database to what you want. So I have running log, for example. All right, so let's first acknowledge the fact that this filter is very much similar to what you'd expect with any of the other ones, right? I can filter the data to specific dates, specific properties, specific timelines, whether it has a certain type of run or not in here, like all these things do matter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to essentially go here and show you that these chart types are your standard ones, right? Like a vertical bar chart, a horizontal bar chart, a line chart, and a donut, which is similar to a pie chart for really cool kids. Now for me, I'm dealing with like a unit of measurement over time sort of thing. So let's look at a specific unit of time. Like for example, I'm gonna filter it to, let's go date. And I'm gonna have it be the past relative to today. Let's do past uh, six months, right? I just wanna see past six months. Now in order to show something over time, uh, I would rather utilize like a line chart is what I would recommend. And this is gonna be interesting because it, I wanna get through it mainly because that's probably the most confusing one to deal with. I'll be honest, the donut one, like you just change the value of what it's like looking at. And you know, like say it could be a uh, workout type, right? And then the each slice represents the um, miles associated to it, right? So what percentage of my mileage is what? And I think that's pretty valuable. And now that they're properly categorized, I can see my uh, long run here, uh, that I can toggle on and off, by the way, this is a really cool feature, is about 14% of my mileage, easy runs are about 70%, workouts are about 12 and a half, and strides are about 1%. This is actually pretty good, you know, for like a, a variation of types of runs. If I want to get more granular than that, I can do the last like two or three months, which is more in line with like, I actually did a training block, and this would be probably more accurate as to what I have been feeling body-wise, so types of workouts, right? And I can just do L2 to mean like last two months, right? And then when I look at the rest of these, so let's do another one in the last two months. Let's look at it like this, okay? Let's change it to, and you can do this to like showcase, um, you know, we know what bar charts are. I, I feel like everybody knows what these are. Sure, you can group them in different ways and omit zero values and that's awesome, but I don't think it's really that like much different that you can do. You can pick different color schemes. Like for example, in this one, I could have picked um, like a red color scheme, a colorless one, if you wanna be edgy. Blue, for example, um, just colorful in general, I think is a good option. Cause the auto one's a little bit like random picking. Like if you notice, if I keep switching it on and off, I just don't really see really, what, what I should say actually, is that auto one just associated to the color here, right? And it's like gray, the grays aren't very delinear and I didn't do a good job here. Let's say if I picked um, the long run is like green, you'll notice that's green now. So it would actually be better to look at. So it's kind of up to you to align it with the colors. And that's a good thing about auto. But let's showcase what it would be like to show my mileage over time. So in the line chart, we can for example, in X to Y, let's say, always use the X as a, uh, for example, like a week, for example, see my weekly mileage, and the Y, what to show, 
miles some okay and you can group it by workout type which would make sense based on what we showed previously like how much of your mileage are you doing each week by the different workout type right um and i think that'd be decently important to to showcase like hey i've done strides this week i i haven't done a workout in a couple of weeks like i stopped doing workouts a couple of weeks ago to get like a little bit more rested these things are important and you'll see here now we have a legend here and we can adjust that legend to have data labels at the top or not have a gradient area at the top or not i like this smooth line i think it looks pretty doesn't have to for you other style options are axis names like i want to do just an x-axis because it's not as obvious like i want to do a y-axis because it's not as obvious and since i have a legend on the bottom i don't really need it grid lines vertical horizontal both kind of up to your discretion i like horizontal ones for items like this because i can pretty clearly see each one and just, as you can see i'm getting back up there in mileage it's taking some time but I'm, I'm getting there and from a color standpoint since it's only really one thing we're looking at it doesn't really make an impact but the grouping as you saw if i were to group it by a category like uh, a select property right it, it would in fact uh, be useful auto is just going to show it based on the colors on the bottom and then could do colorful to change it up but I like auto for that reason. So let's just leave it like this. And it's pretty simple, right? Like if you wanna look at quantities, make a line chart, showcase it by a date interval. If you wanna look at categories, donuts pretty good or bar charts to compare. Um, this is awesome because you can even make presentations with this in Notion now. Notion's got a lot more capabilities because of this. And the fact that it can filter so absolutely well is for me, I mean, breathtaking. You know, like in the last two months, how's it been in comparison? Okay, I guess I've been doing, a, I did a lot more workouts. Uh, I'd say like I kind of overdid it on workouts in the last two months. Um, it was getting close to like 20th percent of my mileage and it was, I, was, I was feeling it for sure. Um, but it's been fun. So it's kind of what you're, you're struggling with here. And I actually really like the ability for this to like check and uncheck these items. I, I, think, the, I think the charts here are basic, but very useful. And... Overall, the sorting here, it's fine, you know, like I'm not really like ever really understanding what makes a sorting for high and low and whatever be kind of like a deal breaker. So there's options to change things in here. But what's even better is the fact that you not only can have it look however you want Notion, but you can actually export it, right? So I can download or copy this as a PNG. So say I copy this as a PNG with a background or without a background, I think this is some pretty cool stuff. So say it's like copied it as a PNG. Say I was sending a text to myself, look how much I've ran. Look how cool I am. <laughs> I open it up, I can send this to someone to flex. I also can uh, put this in an actual PowerPoint, which would maybe be a better example, but I wanted it to be funny. And you can see it has a little made in Notion thing here, because of course it does. And if I copy it without the background, the question is, will it still do that? And the answer, of course, is no for some reason, because I don't know why <laughs> it only shows the made with Notion thing if the background is there, as if like the gradient background is really what Notion is contributing to this, which it is clearly much more than that. It's the graph portion, but I think it's funny. Regardless, you can download, copy. Uh, SVG is probably a great option to make it as large or as small as you want without having any weird like sizing issues. Please use this for your workouts, for monetary tracking, for work task tracking, like what's open tasks by people, how many units of work are they getting per month. It's way better this way because I have a lot of automations running showcasing this to me all the time and it is hard to jerry-rig what a chart would function like, but now I can do it practically and I love it. So if you're looking for more info on charts, you want me to dive into another use case, please leave a comment with an idea down below. I'm definitely open to doing that. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.